Hello, Starshine. You may be familiar with my work, or not. Let me tell you a little story. This is me. I wasn't particularly articulate as a kid. The one thing bright about me was my smile. I remember when I was five or six, my older brothers were already in big school. I had school in the mornings. Dad would duck out of the office to take me home. When I didn't have my playmates around, I often grabbed from the stack of office paper Dad brought home, and I would draw on the blank side of the scratch paper. I remember drawing a masterpiece, fridge art masterpiece, of my mother's office scenery. I drew the building using a ruler. That was a big thing. As a five-year-old, using a ruler, making sure the lines were straight, the windows were parallel and equidistant, and I drew cars by the frontage, and some people along the street. And this was all from memory. I didn't have a photo reference. I remember this vividly. The feeling of excitement and anticipation. I'll finish this. I'll finish this this afternoon. I'll show it to my parents when they come back from work. And particularly, I was excited to show it to mom, because this isn't her cup of tea, and so it felt like a good challenge to create a drawing that she would appreciate. I also drew dad's office, but he was very much into drawing like I am, so his reactions to my drawings were more predictable. And so when they arrived and I handed it to them, now. This is from a long time ago, so my memory is fuzzy. But I remember the gist of how I felt. I can't remember exactly how Mom reacted, but it was definitely a mismatch from what I was hoping. She accepted it, but it was very underwhelming. And then the next day, I'm pretty sure it was the next day, I came back from kindergarten and I had the whole house to myself. I wanted to look at those drawings again, so I was searching for it, but I couldn't find it. It was nowhere in sight, so I went inside my parents' bedroom and I started looking for it. And one of the most likely places I thought I would find it was in the trash can. Not because I was trying to mind read Mom, thinking, "Oh, she must have hated it." No, nothing like that. It's just. The trash can was where my drawings usually end up, just from neglect or me leaving the pieces scattered about. I wasn't that advanced to thinking, "Oh, I could actually store them for later." And so, where else could it be, but in the trash can? So I looked inside the trash can, but it wasn't there. Eventually, I found it inside my parents' wardrobe cabinet. There's a drawer in there. And the drawer is something that my mom uses for stashing away her jewelry. That's where I saw my drawings, my sketches. And instead of feeling happy that I found it, and I thought I would be happy once I found it, I actually wasn't. I was actually quite upset, but I didn't understand why. I could just feel myself feeling upset. The next thing I thought was a a natural thing to do, I guess, for me in this context, was to steal my artwork, steal it away from my parents, and I crumpled it and I threw it in the trash can. And now, if you were observing me, if you were magically there, watching my actions, not knowing what was going on in my mind, you would probably think. Oh, that kid is troubled. That's it. That's the end of that kid's dream as an artist. She's not gonna pick up a pen and paper after that. But that's actually far from the case, because I couldn't express myself in words. I had to talk to myself physically. I wanted to create a new one, a better one, to replace this one. But what's the point in making another one if I was happy with this? So I crumpled it. A little angry, I guess. A little confused, maybe. I saw something that didn't look quite right. Oh, I don't like this. Chuck it away. And so, the slate is blank again. 
I got rid of the thing that was bugging me. Time to draw something else. That was why I threw it away. But as an adult, I wish I hadn't done that. I would love to see that sketch again. I understand why I did it though. At five years old, I had a lot to learn. I needed every reason to keep drawing. So here I am now, still drawing, still experimenting with art. But no more crumpling chucking in the bin. I've learned to appreciate what Bob Ross called happy accidents.